Hi, my name is Because Becca, and I'm making this video because my best friend Nikki is always quoting this movie and mentioning it. And she's gonna be very mad to find out that I've actually never seen it and I've just pretended like I've seen it before. So we're gonna be watching it now and we're gonna be reacting to it. And it is called How to Train Your Dragon. I think there's even like a sequel or two out about this. All I know is that the dragon's name is Toothless. I'm guessing he's Toothless. I'm really excited to watch it. I've heard nothing but good things. I've heard people even say to me before that they wish that they could unsee the movie and resee it. So I'm hoping it lives up to the expectation, but I'm going to try to go in as blankly as possible and just experience it for what it is. For those of you who do love this movie, did you like the sequel sequels? What are your favorite parts about this movie? Let me know in the comments below and uh, here we go. I have listened to some of the soundtrack from this movie, just in like little mixes I've seen people do before, and it is really beautiful. In a word, sturdy. And it's been sturdy. here for seven generations, but every single building is new. You see, most places have mice or mosquitoes. What was that? We have... <gasps> Dragons. Oh, that's horrifying. My name's Hiccup. Great Why name, is his name Hiccup? But it's not the worst. That's Stoic the Vast, chief of the tribe. He's is got he... crazy eyes. There's so many. We move to the lower defenses. Right. We'll counter the type with the catapults. Interesting. So he's kind of like the character in the game that you go to upgrade your tools. <laughs> <laughs> Walks away looking so cool. Has a skull belt. Oh, their job is so much cooler. I don't know why, but her look is really giving me MySpace vibes. You can't lift a hammer. You can't swing an axe. You can't even throw one of these. Is everyone Scottish but our main character? But you just pointed to all of me. Yes. I just have to say I really like the lighting so far in every single scene. It's really beautifully done. One day I'll get out there. Because killing a dragon... It's giving me a lot of memories of Hercules. Taking down one of those would definitely get me a girlfriend. Okay, maybe some foreshadowing. He's gonna take down one of those and maybe it'll be very impressive. Whoa. We call it the... Night Fury! Get down! Whoa. No one has ever killed a Night Fury. That's why I'm gonna be the first. Okay, foreshadowing prediction. The dragon toothless that I'm aware of that exists, which I think he ends up meeting or being friends with or something, is gonna be a night fury, I betcha. And he thinks he's gonna like kill one, but he's actually gonna be friends with it instead. They're setting up so much in this first scene. I feel like I'm trying to get all my predictions out, but also absorb it. Give me something to shoot at, give me something to shoot at. That animation is so beautiful. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Did anybody see that? Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Dad. Oh, that's his dad. Okay, so we've got our scrawny hero, kind of like Hercules or Captain America before he gets buff. Actually, both of them before they get buff. Is he gonna get buff? It's the fact that they're willing to be brave even when they have no reason to. And by that, I mean no physical reason. <laughs> I've never seen anyone mess up that badly. That helped. Thank you, thank you, I was trying. I don't understand the accents of this village. <laughs> Hiccup can cover the stall. Molten steel, razor sharp blades, lots of time to himself. I like the way that his horns on his head match his his beard braids. <laughs> it's like. Oh, I'm serious. So am I. <laughs> Some people lose their knife or the mug. No, not me. I managed to lose an entire dragon. Ow! <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Oh, because it hit, hit it. Oh. The fact that he probably would have walked past that if that stick hadn't hit him in the face. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it is it, isn't it? That's the one I've seen from the posters, right? Oh, I did it. This this fixes everything. Yes! I have brought down this mighty beast. No. Oh. <laughs> wow, the animation is gorgeous. You can see all the texture. I feel like I can feel him. 
So why does he attack the village? Like, what's the point of the... What are the dragons trying to... Cut out your heart and take it to my father. <laughs> okay. I'm a Viking! <laughs> it's like what Snow White was meant to be. This music is beautiful. It's like the beginning of Detroit Become Human. Whether you save the fish or not determines how human you are. That's an old writing trick. It actually comes from Save the Cat. There's a whole book on it. Whoa! <gasps> Ferocious eyes. It's like a black cat. Just yells at him and leaves. That was intense. Whoa. Wow, the sound design. That was so, like you can tell how much effort they put into the sound that the dragon makes that. Like it's still sort of in pain, but it's also being like, don't mess with me and leaving. Like they put effort into the way, I, of course they did, but like, I don't know. There's so much laziness in filmmaking when you notice these little things. It's really impressive. When you carry this ax, you carry all of us with you. <laughs> so you walk like us. You talk like us. You have to get an accent now. <laughs> you just gestured to all of me. Deal. <laughs> this conversation is feeling very one-sided. Deal. <laughs> no more this. You just gestured to all of me. <laughs> it's so good. Wow, she has some thick hair. Nice thick braid. Yeah, no kidding, right? Pain. Love it. Oh, great. I love it. <laughs> Can I transfer to the class with the cool bike? Don't worry. His design You're reminds small. me of the guy who was just talking. Reminds me of the villain in the first Incredibles. Something similar with the mouth and everything. You of the many species you will learn to fight. <laughs> oh my gosh, that guy. Speed 8, armor 16. Aw, he's so cute. Just strength 8. He knows all of everything. It's like the people who know everything about Minecraft. And I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm jealous. Shield, go! I, I mean, that's true for Minecraft as well. You need a shield. All dragons have a limited number oh, of shots. Oh, interesting. How many does a grunkle have? You look like you work out. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're done. Remember, a dragon will always, always. Have they made a game out of this movie? I feel like this is probably a game. And he just said, he said, a dragon will always, always go for the kill. Yeah, why didn't you? Why didn't this one do that? Because you didn't, so he didn't. <laughs> Goodness. Aw, he's struggling. Gosh, the animation of the light and shadows, the like texture on his face and on the dragon. I can like feel everything. What's going on? Oh my gosh. Aw, that's a rough day. Can't even get a snack. You have to be tough on yourself. Where did Hiccup go at all? See, when he smiles, but kind of like angrily, he looks like that guy. What was his name? The Incredibles. If I can't be super, no one can. The thunder drum produces a concussive sound that can kill a man at close range. Extremely This is very violent for a kid's movie. I can almost smell them. They're close. Steady. I have a sense that there's definitely going to be some conflict here. He's going to make buddy buddies with the dragon, but everyone he knows is going to want to kill the dragon and he's going to need to put himself in harm's way to be between the dragon and his friends and family, I feel, maybe. Kind of like Belle between the villagers and the beast. Like, no, no, he's not a monster. Don't kill him. Whoa. Hey, you know, I just <sighs> happened to notice the book had nothing on Night Fury. That was crazy. That was so cool. That was gorgeous. What? Gosh, Whoa, everything is so well come. done. What? I'm curious also why he hasn't tried to tell anyone yet that that's what he did. I mean, I assume it's because he knows that no one will believe it. So he doesn't even try. Honestly, a scene like that would just be frustrating to me. I hate scenes where someone's trying to explain something and people don't believe them. <laughs> What do you want me to do? Block out the sun? I can do that. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Block out the sun? That's kind of like, it's a wonderful life. What do you want? The moon? How about I lasso it and bring it down to you? Something like that. Is this some kind of a joke to you? Ooh, he's going to get her in on it first. Oh, fish. Oh, he brought him a fish. So nice. He's feeding him. He's domesticating him. <laughs> Why does that word sound so bad? It's not. <gasps> oh, it's like a cat. He's like waiting to pounce. Give him the fish. Don't release it so he doesn't take your arm with it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like a puppy. Could have sworn you had. What? He can like 
Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought he could... Uh, what? Uh, Does, hey, it doesn't oh, no, have teeth no. sometimes? Oh! <laughs> oh no, he's gonna throw it up! Oh, yeah. It's like a dog and cat combined. Oh, look at it. Look at his eyes. Oh, he threw it up for you to have. Oh, mm -hmm. he brought it. To, he was sharing it. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so gross. Oh, but he did it. He goes. <laughs> this is the cutest scene I've ever seen. No, not allowed to pet yet. More cat-like than dog-like in that way. Except for Peter. Some people he doesn't let pet him. He's a little particular about it. Aww. Oh. <laughs> it's like, I'm displeased with you for now. Oh, he's watching. It was so cute. <laughs> what is he drawing? Oh, <laughs> smack. What is it? Is it like a map? <laughs> the way he's able to change so quickly. Oh. oh. He's gonna pet without looking. Oh, he goes 90, he goes 10. It's like Hitch. <laughs> oh, the ice blows. Oh. My gosh, that was so cute. No, she's gonna... Oh, I thought she was gonna maybe be, like, a good person to find out, but maybe she finds out and she tells everybody else, and then they try to kill him. I just know what direction this movie is going into, and it's gonna put our little baby into danger, and I'm scared. What is it? Oh, did he make, like, a wing piece? <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Oh, he made him like a little prosthetic. Whoa. Get off of it. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It's working! Oh. At least he knew to throw him in water. This makes me so excited for the How to Train Your Dragon land that's going to be at the new Universal Park in Orlando called Epic Universe. They're doing like a bunch of new lands and one of them is How to Train Your Dragon. That's another reason why I wanted to watch this. I think there's going to be a coaster for it too. It'll be cool, I think. Now, Dad, don't you make me tell you again. Yes, that's He's right. like a dragon whisperer. Oh, eel. They hate it. Dragons hate eel. Okay, so are we done? Because I've got some <laughs> things I need to, uh... Hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Making, like, little stuff out of leather. I like this channel on YouTube. They run a small business, and they make everything handmade out of leather. And it's so satisfying when they, like, punch little holes in it. Like, I don't know. It's just really nice. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. Peter does that every night. Oh, they like the dress. Oh, he's learning about them and what they like. That was such a genuine... Oh, no, he's so popular. Ooh, why do I feel like she's gonna be a villain now? I hope not. Just want everything to work out. <laughs> Use that line again. Also, these voice actors, it's so familiar. Ooh, she is gonna be the first to find out, but I don't know if she's gonna be good or bad. This is risky. <gasps> yeah, she's gonna find out. Oh, dang. They're gonna have a, such a hard time accepting this because this is adding to the emotional weight of like the damage that dragons do and why they want to fight them. I hope you have a little more success than me. It's gonna be most well, difficult success, for his father to accept. Paid, I, so. I feel like given this is a kid's movie, he eventually will. Oh, he's like starting to get proud of him. Oh, it's like a little engineer. He isn't like one, he is. <laughs> his little tongue hanging oh, out of his mouth. No. no! Oh no! Oh no! Come back, come back now. No. <laughs> He's just spinning. <laughs> Smacked him. Oof. Oh my gosh. Even the dragon's like, oh, too fast for me. <laughs> if the dragon is scared, you know. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so cool. Ew. No thanks. I'm good. Oh, it's gonna offend them. Their eyes. Oh my gosh. It's like my sister's dogs. It reminds me of my sister's little mini dachshunds. Oh my gosh. He's trying to assert dominance. <laughs> 
I almost gave up on you. And all the while you were holding I out on me. I almost gave oh, up on you. I almost gave up on you. The whole time he was asking to be like him, he it's not like he was like just being lazy and chilling around. Like he was doing a lot and his dad almost gave up on him. Oh. Look at his little face. <laughs> the rest has the hat. <clears throat> wow. Him being supportive of his son is so foreign to them that they're so awkward about it. You know, growing up, my mom used to always get mad at a lot of Disney movies having such dysfunctional parent-child relationships and situations. But I honestly feel like it's good because I think it makes a lot of kids feel very seen in different situations. I do agree we need more healthy examples, but I can imagine a lot of kids watching this movie felt seen and heard and felt like, you know, they could be the hero despite having a father that is unwilling to support them and a mom that's not around. Oh, he doesn't want it though because he doesn't want to kill him. What the? What are you doing here? Oh no. I want to know what's going on. She's going to be a villain. For everything else. Oh man. I'm not a fan of her so far. Astrid? Toothless. Toothless? Astrid. <laughs> da, 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 we're dead. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> He's jealous. Dude, that's, what are you doing? We need her to like <laughs> us. Dunking her. We need her to like us. <laughs> and now he's spinning. <laughs> and now he's spinning. <laughs> Thank you for nothing, you useless reptile. <laughs> it's how close you know they are. So at the beginning of watching this, I said how this is my best friend Nikki's favorite movie. And it's interesting watching this because I'm seeing a lot of her sense of humor in the main character and also little traits that remind me of her. So I can see why this is her favorite. And also she loves like black cats and I feel like Toothless is kind of like that. So it makes sense to me. She's probably watching this and is really mad at me. Sorry. What, what is it? Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Does he have like a, a whale in his arm? Oh my gosh. What are they all carrying? Oh. What's going on? I don't know. My word. Oh no, are they gonna attack? This is crazy. Whoa. That's horrifying. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. All right, bud, we gotta get out of here. Oh no, I'm guessing that's like the big bad. Why do they bring him all food? Just to appease him? Mm, I would have gone for the hammer. Even still, it's so relatable. Like your parent finally supports you and then you make a decision. They're still like, mm, not the decision I would have made. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kind of pretty. Whoa. Whoa. Stop the fight. No. Whoa. I need you all to see this. Stop the fight! <laughs> now you're gonna get him killed. Oh. He's trying to, he can sense it. He's trying to get there. Ooh, the claws came out. Oh. My dog Peter is very handsy. He likes to grab my hand, like he'll pull my whole arm over just to hold it. And it's funny, if I try to pull away, I see his little claws like come out and then retract. <laughs> Oh no, they're they're gonna hurt Toothless. Get Toothless out of there. Get Toothless out of there. Go, go. Put it with the others. Ah, <sighs> this is the part I knew that this would come, but I hate it. Into the nest. Did I say nest? How did you find that? But no, I I didn't. <laughs> Toothless did. Only a dragon can find the oh, island. Oh no. Oh no. Goodness, Once listen your to life, your would son. You please just listen to me. You're not a Viking. You're not my son. Ugh, goodness. So annoying, uh, but really good writing. Really good writing, but so annoying because it's so true, but so annoying. Lead us home, devil. 
The only reason he didn't kill you is because your son told him not to. Talk about stories about bad fathers. America Ferrera as well. Uh, sister of Traveling Pants. I always loved her speech to her father who had left her and her mother and got like a new family. <laughs> like he's gonna die well the dad won't die he'll have a change of heart by the end some sort of redemption arc but a bunch of people are gonna die because of his dumb actions it's okay it's Aww. okay wow look at the texture look at that shot gosh to animate this must have taken forever okay so what was your plan after you broke it open oh it's gonna the fire's gonna like reveal oh my gosh, that is such a cool shot. That was so well done. Not hit a single one. They're going past them. <gasps> They're going past them. They're going to go to their village while none of them are there. No, you didn't. It's always pride before the fall. I was like, oh, I haven't really seen anyone like die. And then I remember it's a kid's movie. <laughs> He mouths, what the? <laughs> Must have been so fun for the animators and designers to come up with the designs of every dragon. Because each one seems very unique so far, like nothing I've ever seen before. Uh-oh. Oh, his power okay. on the grunkle. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> got something in your eye? Oh, oh he got distracted. We need Toothless. Uh-oh. Okay, I know they're sequels, so he can't die, right? He can't die. It's a kid's movie. He can't die either. Oh, he's gonna go get him. Looks crazy even underwater. I'm sorry. For, for everything. Redemption arc. Thanks, Dad. Every once in a while, his voice feels too old for his character design, but it also somehow works. I don't know. Whoa, he's like, he's inhaling them. <gasps> Whoa. So when actors have to do yells like that or like fighting sounds, you have to do them over and over and over again in a voice recording booth. I know because I've done animation before and uh, I would love to see the takes of them just having to be <sighs> over and over and over again. Whoa. That was crazy. Whoa, his swings. Oh, it's so crazy how good the animation looks. Look at that. Holy. Oh, I can't see him. Oh, the silhouette coming through the clouds. He's like, I'm just going to shoot everywhere then. Oh, no. Okay, no, no. Up. His prosthetic. Are they going to try to do it inside of him? Because that other little guy, he like the fire inside of him. Like they're going to like spit the little electricity in his mouth. Yeah, whoa, because he had said, he was like, oh, you're not so fireproof on the inside. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No! Oh no! Oh my gosh, look at that shot! Oh, did he, like, he, like, protect him? Oh, he, did he protect him? No, I bet he's, like, got him wrapped up, doesn't he? Because he protected him. Oh, the dragon. Vikings have horns, the dragons have horns, they all look the same. He's like, look, I got him, right here. I got him, I got him wrapped up. Open up your little wings. He's like, it's right here. Aw. He's like, okay, just wanted to hear you say sorry. Here's your son. <laughs> so petty. Hiccup! Oh, he wrapped his little arms around him. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the... <laughs> Oh. You're in my house. <laughs> in my house. Oh. Did he lose his foot? He lost his foot? That's what a crazy twist. So I just think of all the kids who needed prosthetics and then because of Toothless and that they're like twins now. They both have prosthetics and other people and oh that oh doesn't make any sense what I just said. <laughs> He needs some scary. occupational therapy what, what, what is, what is or physical therapy or whichever this? one's... Nikki, don't be mad. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, he can strap in, and he's got his little thing that, like, twins it is on the right. same side as what their left little foot is broken. Nice. So cool. It was so cute. It was so good. Beautiful done beautifully done everything about it i've already commented i think on everything through my watching of it so i won't reiterate everything i've already said did this win any awards i'm assuming it did when it came out i can't imagine it wasn't nominated for an oscar or two best animated feature best original score at the oscars so 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 good oh so oh so good and there were little things i didn't end up calling there were things that i knew would have to happen based on the way they were going but there were things that i didn't expect like his little foot oh my gosh i can't believe they were only nominated they didn't win anything at the oscars looks like they were nominated for almost everything they won a lot at the annie awards BAFTA is nominated didn't win that's a shame i mean a lot of nominations which is great but like goodness really deserved something there they did win the motion picture sound editors usa award best sound editing definitely everything was incredibly well done I, I wonder how long it took to make everything but if you enjoyed watching this hey feel free to check out my watch through and review of inside out if you like to see more stuff like this let me know in the comments and hey if you enjoyed this and you watch all the way to the end and you're not subscribed i think you should subscribe if you would like to and also turn on notifications using the little bell system bye